The Cardinal King is back, baby. And this is an MPC Live. Today I'm going to show you how to get stems for any song using AI. All right, guys, if you're new here, my name is the Cardinal King. I do a lot of AI content. And in today's lesson, we're going to teach you how to separate songs into stems. And this works on any song. Um, we're going to do a little Japanese song by Mai Yamane called Tatsugare. I'm going to let you guys listen to five seconds of that. Just so you kind of get a vibe for what we're, we're doing today. So I'm, I'm sure you've heard this intro somewhere else, right? Because it's super simple. Oh, well, that's enough of that, right? So that's the song that we are getting stems from today. And we're going to be using a technology called Demux. And Demux is developed by Facebook, and it's made for stem separation using AI, right? So we're going to get into the collab. There's, as always, there's a link in the description for the collab and everything else that you're going to need. So just follow along, right? So first thing we want to do is make sure we're signed up into our Gmail account. And when we go to Drive, make sure we have a folder in our drive that's called Demux. And then we place whatever songs we want to get stems from inside this folder, right? After that, we start running these step by step. So we run this cell first, it'll spit out all this stuff. We run this cell second, it'll spit out all this stuff. And then we run this cell. Okay, cool. Now we're just going to keep, keep running stuff. We're going to keep going down the line. All right, guys, so the song is done. And um, I just want to remind you guys that you can do these in batches. So you can put in a bunch of songs in there and just have them go one after the other after the other. So once your song is done, you're going to get a folder called Demux Separated on your drive. You're going to go in here and then there's going to be a folder for each song. And inside of these, there's going to be the separation. So there's a a drum separation, there's a bass separation, there's a vocal separation, another separation. So you can download these as a zip file and then just view them on your computer and put them on your PC, chop them, screw them, do whatever you want, right? And so this is the vocal track. I'm going to skip around. There's a really cool part where she's like doing vocalized sounds. So I'm going to try to find that right now. There we go. And it doesn't do a, a bad job of recreating this. Like, it actually tries to include, like, the reverb, right? Oh, that sounds great. You can definitely use that in the song as, like, an acapella or something. All right, so now we're checking out the drums. And for me, this is the most powerful thing because I use the MPC as a drum machine. So I really want to cop those drums, right? So this to me is kind of like the equivalent of going and digging in vinyl crates. But even better, because even if I do grab something from a vinyl, I can just sample that part, use Demux, and then get, get a clean part, right? Yeah, but that sounds super clean. That's perfect. That's so great. Wow, now here's the bass. Which in that first part, when you hear the actual song, you can't really hear it very clear, but on this it sounds great. Wow. That's impressive, you can definitely use that. Wow, I'm, I'm surprised by how clean that is. So this other section grabs basically everything else, and um, this song has kind of an iconic intro because it's been sampled a bunch. But um, I'm going to skip a little bit to the forward because um, it also has a really kick-ass uh, guitar line in it. All right, and it's also picking up some of those, uh, I guess they're using like a DX7 bell type deal. But um, this has really good guitar lines. Let me see if I can find one real quick. There's that little background string in there. There we go. Those are the guitars. I definitely want to grab that as a sample.
And don't forget, guys, this works on any song, so don't feel limited in what you can do. It's good for doing remixes and, and whatnot. All right, guys, I'm going to show you guys another little tip and trick tool that I like using, too, when I separate songs like this. Um, just in case, you know, you're trying to learn the song, this is really great for practice. Um, so if you get an isolated part, you don't quite know the notes, you toss them into here. And this guy is called the Basic Pitch, and it was made by Spotify. So it's an open project that lets you transform any sort of um, music file into a MIDI file. Um, you do need to play around with it quite a bit. So there are controls down here for you to play with and whatnot. But um, most of the times it's decently spot on at first. So we're going to press play here and see what happens. Oh, so I got that. I got that intro pretty spot on right from the get go. Um, and I think that's the video, guys. Let me know what you want to see more of. Let me know what you want to see next. This has been the Cardinal King out.